Hello and welcome back to Icrush. Solo open world. Uh, I would say low level character, but hmm, not really low no more. But at least the character I started on this open world at level zero and have leveled it up all the way so far. I'm gonna hide the operation thingy. You're hungry, hey? There is water here and there's food here, so I'm not sure why you don't want to eat. So, let's see if I manually feed you. They're only still thirsty, huh? Got no new skills. There is a water trough right in front of you. You refuse to drink from that one, hey? Well, there you go. And you see, you're eating and drinking normally. There's a good Beethoven. Okay, can I sit you to follow me? Will you actually, or are you like stuck in the wall? Looks like you're like stuck in the wall, huh? Somehow. So if you do this. Maybe even pick up the couch. Really? Pick up the beam. There you go. So you were stuck on the beam, huh? Okay. Well, let's put this stuff back then. There's gonna be the, this. Boom. And the couch. Gonna go in roughly like a so. There you go. Okay. Those are taken care of. Let's see. Two pigs, two wolves. Three, four bulls. Oh yeah, I did grab two more, huh? Let's see if I can make the drug come over here. Yep. Okay, you should not have done that, because now uh, you're like instantly dead. Ah oh, man. Hey! Oh yeah, shite, you are still set to follow. That means you just teleported out of the base. I don't want you outside the base, I want you inside the base. See, is this gonna be far enough for you to teleport towards me? Yes, you are. Good. You wander again. Okay, back to here. Let's cut you up and break you down. Make sure you all don't have wounds. First, max out the uh, health. Should have another low level somewhere. You're fine. You are fine. Here's the other low level. Uh, you are actually okay. Anyway. Um, piggies, no wound here, no wound there. Would be nice if we had a uh, like list of uh, teams with the status so to access it, but that would just be a quality of life. We would need having to uh, look up all your teams and check them one by one, but 
like I said, it's just the quality of life. Not really important. Okay, um, we're gonna go tell ourselves a couple more wolves. Because I want a wolf back. Which can help me take on uh, bears and such. Drag is a gunner. No, oh, I forgot to offload. Eh, tough luck. I also should not forget to eat something. Right. Grab this. You go in there. Hello, you're teleporting? <laughs> Well, you're dead now, so good luck teleporting. Another horse coming in. Well, it's too late to rescue you, that's for sure. Hey. Come on. Good night. You're dead. Yes, I know it's Tuesday and I'm playing Icarus, I just... Uh, Felt more like playing Icarus than playing uh, Mana Lords. And let's see, grab a couple of wolf bites. Let's aim the traps. there and the other one is here there you go let's repair these To the carcass store. And then we basically wait for wolves to spawn in and get caught and get tamed. So, the oldie waiting game. Yeah, I'm looking at the Kia. I'm so bad at shooting Kia with bow and arrow. You need like Carl for that. He's able to do that easily. Uh, what would be the drop off on that horse over there? It's slightly down, so less drop off than you would expect. Oh, there's still way too much drop off, eh? That's it. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a hit though. But yeah, calculating drop off uh, on long range shots. Eh, not the easiest. Especially if you have to calculate in uh, Elevation and such. Still, so I can cut you up. Thank you. Another couple of moas, hey? Oh, there's a dead one for sure. Now 
want my X kills accolade. Hence the killing of the juvenile mobile with the axe. Hmm. I should top up my arrows again. Supposed to spawn in. Would be nice if they actually did. That's all this is what I'm here for. To catch and tame more wolves for my wolf pack. Not in either. Piggy over there. I shoot this from here. I think that's a yes. He in the war. Didn't see that coming, did you? I hear a horse as well. No wolfie though. That's basically what I'm waiting for. Yeah, we'll wait patiently. For now. Hello. There's one. Okay. He is caught. So the taming progress can start. Process can start. It's unlike I heard another wolf breathing over here somewhere. Must have been mistaken. Piggy and a drag as well there. Yeah. Using the long range shots as a means of Like looking around, it's a means of scouting, always funny. Nope. You, yeah. I'm gonna come with me. You're actually gonna be used to feed this wolf over here. Approach from the opposite side. Get close to the trap, drop the carcass, and get out. Okay, now for the drug. There it is. There's the drug, he ate my arrow, but so be it. This one actually goes into storage. go thank you email client or at least I assumed it was my email client missed jump too early there we go trap is set and baited and everything Arrows on Kia. I mean, I could make some bone arrows to try and shoot Kia with. Where's the Kia? This is anyway. 
there. Oh, I did get the... <laughs> the lore entry for the for the boar. Space bacon, my favorite part of this cursed rock. Me like it out. Well, there's a 10% chance of uh, boars giving white meat, hey? Eh? Okay, interesting. I did not know that. No, I do. Okay, maybe I'm too close to the trap. Maybe that's why no wolf is spawning in. I don't know. Something right over there, huh? Tomatoes must have must be tomatoes. I like the scope on this one. Gives you a little bit better long range view. Still come well, I think it is uh, not being eaten yet. That wall, that uh, carcass over there. Might be easier to see from this side. No! Whew. Okay, there's a second wolf going. I almost jumped over here. Okay. Well, let's have a look see. See the car is still there in one piece. Come on closer. There you go. Drop a carcass. I have dropped a freaking carcass. There you go. Rabbit's done it. Don't, don't believe uh, it broke because earlier this weekend, so after patch, it was working. There has not been an update, so it should still be working. Oh, there's 12 blueprint points available, huh? Let's actually start working backwards. Don't need any of this. Uh, let's get these three. At some point, but not now. dead now. There's plenty of you to eat now. Oh no, it's a bit too far away for the wolf I think, eh? Let's see whether or not I can cut him up without the wolf aggroing. I think that's a no. Ish. Well, there's no aggro music, so... Maybe. I don't know. Why don't you wanna... Oh wait, you did eat from this one. Check. I'll take the rest then. And I just drop a carcass at both of the wolves. Don't 
Dark carcass should be good. I hope it's close enough though. Might not be actually. Okay, just throwing it out a bit weirdly, but okay. And one for the other one. There's a second car <laughs> for the wolf to eat. Wanna eat, huh? Well, let me run past you. You know what? Let's just do it this way. There you go. Let's do it. Drop that one there. And then I'll pick up the uh, drug carcass. And I'll put it back. This one can go there. Okay. Oh, you ate your carcass already. You haven't. Actually, you are now. Okay, so. Both have eaten. This one has eaten two. This one has eaten one. Usually it takes like three carcasses for a wolf to fully tame. Could be slightly different now though, because I did kind of aggro them a little bit. So we'll see. If I wait till they have the hunger symbol, then I can run in with a carcass, drop it off, then they should eat a carcass straight away. So not attracting any other predators. Might be a good idea. So yeah, but until that time, all we can do is basically wait. Wait for the wolves to get hungry again. And in the meantime, keep an eye out for uh, other things to uh, disassemble. Hydroponic crop lots, are they worth it? Well, they do have the built-in greenhouse effect thingy. So you wouldn't need a lot of glass around it. So, might be. Let's go for the full marble kitchen. And I have five points available, so I'm gonna keep those for now, just in case I all of a sudden need to unlock something for whatever reason, which I haven't unlocked yet, better to have some points in reserve.
Aí, peguei. Vai, peguei. Let's go and grab you. Pick me up. Not interesting enough. It's too small. Okay, let's just um just to satisfy my OCD, let us uh sort these. There you go. Another piggy, huh? Come in. Hear that. Still, so I can pick you up. Thank you. I can pick you up. I can place you down. Ah, that time is completed. The health bar is gone. That's how I know. Cut up this carcass. I'll actually drop off another carcass for the other wolf already. I just got myself this nice boar carcass. So, that's done. enough to straight away eat it. This is good. Of course that means with a bit of luck it'll be tamed in no time. Now it is a, a piggy so uh, it's gonna leave the uh, bacon behind and any prime meat if there is any. you can sneak in and grab it there you go Alright, there's a moa coming this way as well Leave the low alone for now, because I want the other wolves to tame, to finish taming. Okay, don't go too close. There you go. You did. Let's cut him up. Let's break him down. I don't have a decent amount of stuff in my inventory now, though, um, and I'm actually going to throw out a bunch of leather. I don't need all this leather. Don't care about the leather. And voila, the second wolf has been tamed as well. Hey, Arthur. Follow me, please. Same goes for you, Gawain, or however you want to pronounce it. Follow me, please. Both of you, come on. Chop, chop. It's 
so it's gonna be four for the wolf pack. Hello, Equix. Mm, wolf pack of four should be fine for now, I think. Especially when I uh, level them all the way up. I get them to level 25 or level 30 or so. Now obviously with extra wolves I do have to keep an eye out on the food. But if uh, you get yourself another skill level, you, wonder, you, wonder, they're going to add two skill points, boom boom, don't forget to pet them, for more shared experience, especially the low level ones, hey? Very fair. Water. Okay, let's uh, check up on the chicken. No uh, chickens. See two eggs on the floor, two in the food trough, and four in the coop. Fletcher, you got yourself a skill. More coziness buff, maps, more coziness buff. Okay, afterwards I'll put some in health region. Uh, now, I heard something about chickens not able to uh, climb uh, ramps and stairs, something I can confirm. Mm. However, supposedly they are able to. Uh, Climb roofs. So maybe I should look into that. I mean, it would be more important on my main, main open world. Because there I was trying to uh, I was trying to put the chicken coop up on uh, an elevated floor, and obviously it didn't work. Yeah, maybe I should uh, have another look at some points in the main open world. Depending on the pending changes in next week's patch, I might do it uh, for the uh, subsequent gameplay. Also, I'm gonna want to build a little bridge here. Consume, consume, consume. Let's see, look up to there. Stairs. And then you go over. One more. Okay, you're not breaking yet, which is good. And stairs down. Okay, good. Now these floors can be incorporated into uh, my base. As soon as I extend all the way over there. Uh, but for now... Three, I need four more. I'm, I'm actually thinking maybe I should make some steel roofs. Uh, this is a tier 3 item then. Building item, okay, steel roofing, I do have them. Now they're made in the machining bench or the fabricator. It's needing steel rebar and steel ingots. See, do I have any of those? I have a bunch of steel here. It's 
12, huh? So if I make 20, I should be able to make the two of these. And they should be in the uh, repair hammer upgrade radial. But I can't use that because um, uh, I'm going from stairs to roof. So. Hello. Run. There you go. If I would use this as steel roofing, I put it like so, and here I put it like so. Now the only disadvantage is I can't use the railings. I can use them on stairs, I cannot however use them on uh, roofs. I'm actually thinking, right, if I want to prevent my tames, my mounts from going over from this side, but allowing from that side, I could actually replace this one with a uh, stair. So, mounts, or at least some of them, i.e. Uh, pigs, would not be able to use this side, but they should be able to use this side. Basically, a one way filter. I think this is gonna work nice. Let's not forget to um, empty out the water wheels. Yeah, because, unlike my main open world where I only use them for uh, spot plants, in this open world I'm actually using them for power generation. That means regularly cleaning them out so they keep on running for a bit. And I should also like get rid of this here rock so I can place more water wheels. At some point but not now. Because if we look at the that there, put that here, if you look at the power generation we are producing about three times as much as we need with three solar panels and seven water wheels and we have uh, like nine, yeah nine advanced batteries so I might actually go for a bit more. Um, eight titanium plates, huh? Yeah, it's very expensive to make one. There come the titanium plate. And I need eight electronics as well. There's eight coming up. So that is going to be enough for one more battery, now where to place the battery. Because I have some over here, but this spot is kind of filled up now. That means I need to find uh, another place to put batteries. I could go for batteries in here. Uh, I don't know. Like my main open world, I have a dedicated room for batteries. I don't have that here. I mean, I could start putting batteries in the corner over here. Yeah, might not be a bad idea. Why can't I? I thought I had enough for um, uh, I ran out of gold wire, huh? Okay. And 
18 times 3 is 54. Oh gosh, I'll just make 60. Make one of these and then I make a bunch more of that. Grab you, grab electricity tool. Let's place um, a battery rack in here. Let's see, you can line them up a bit nicely. Like roughly so. And hook it up. There you go. Battery number 10. Yeah. Look, load on up. Good. Good, good. Okay. What if I set the low level wolves, the one from a wolf pack, to aggressive? Just for fun. Level 1, and another level 1, and a level 7. And a level 6. So they know she also like attack uh Ruby Force. So, so let's kill some <coughs> some animals around here. Well the channel's made it like halfway up the stairs here. Maybe the ground, I don't know. I just have to hope that we, uh, the Thames wolves will, uh, will not uh, jump into the river. But we'll see. Anyway, let's see. I have more stakes here. Bones to go in here, can make more crest bone. Once that's done, I can make another stack of epoxy. Okay, everything looks fine. Lovely. So, let's go sleep through the night. Activate. Yeah. You got yourself a skill, huh? Get yourself some more health regen then. And you. Did you get yourself a skill as well? You did. More increase health regen. Sleep through the night. And deactivate this one again. Good, good. Still a lot of health bars over here, though. There's one less. One less. Yeah, 
pick me up, eh? Eh, I don't want to spend arrows on that one. Can I use that? Shell is a goner. The shell I'm actually gonna cut up. Not even gonna cut up the ones in the river. I don't care about them. Cut up the one over here. Really? Why getting in the river over here? I'm actually thinking of like closing this off, you know? Like build this out. So this whole pen is like uh, like has, has a roof over it. So hopefully no animals will accidentally fall into it anymore. Like I've had before where a, a drug like ran off the cliff here and ended up inside a pen started killing my pigs now if that happens when I'm not at home my pigs are toast well actually if they were gonna be toast and at least I would have toast chicken thing is <laughs> I can't do anything about it at that point so mm. rather have me eating the chicken than uh, some random drug. So yeah. Well, let's build ourselves some more concrete roofs. Pick me up underneath the base. That's fine though. Another cabinet, you go there. This, however, is less fine. Because that sounds like something is attacking something. Okay, so one of my wolves actually did go across the bridge in order to attack that boar. Well, let's hope no others. Uh, two actually. <laughs> Coolio. And they nicely go back over the bridge. I like that. Okay. But it does mean I have to be way more vigilant in checking for uh, wounds. Two, level two, and level two. They're all fine. Let's actually pet them so they get more shared experience, especially the low levels. Bacon, did you get a sk uh, skill level? You did not. I kept on level 25. This is possible that the Thames kept at level 25 though. That means, Agravine, that you only have one level to go. So you can't get uh, one of the, the large stomach. So be it. Get it. it means that you are actually max level already then. That's fine. Huh. That's interesting. Three, seven, ten, seventeen, twenty, twenty-four, eight, 
31, 35. So Galahad, although being a level 25, got like 35 talent points. Agravain, being level 24, only has 24 talent points and will never get more. Well, he will get one more, but he's not gonna be going to <laughs> like getting as much uh, talent points as Galahad has. Kill off a couple of some pygmy lobs. But why not? They all gather around the bridge here. Okay, so it looks like they like limited the same level to 25. Something to keep in mind when assigning talent points. 25 being the new max. This goes here, this goes there. of these oh. Oh. that ain't nice I put the beams. Okay, that away. That means the first one is incorrect. Check. That's better. First, okay. Ten of those. Another repair I needed. That's fine. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So it means I'm gonna need like at least uh, four more. Six more. Ah, but Diam, I have to move these. Okay, that's fine though. I can do that. Uh, lower wall. Okay, let's see how much how many more can I make? I can make six. Let's see how far we get with those then. I'm out of a rebar. That's fine though. I can work with that. I do have some more steel here. 
So if you say make say like 150 more a rebar. And in the meantime, we're gonna go place these floors. I'm gonna place them here first. Grab you. So this should be fine. Um, you're gonna be one of these, like so. I can move these uh, railings, like over to here, which would like increase the pen by quite a bit. But for a note, the pen is big enough. So maybe I should, I better use this to um, build up. Which might be way nicer. Well, I have to uh, grab the water and electricity tool. Something died or something got killed over here? I'm not sure. Wolves might have crossed the bridge again. Let's first repair it before picking it up. Now we pick it up. Electricity tool. Okay, now I can pick these three up. Yeah, the pygmy lob otherwise would have uh, fallen into the chicken coop. Like a show. And these two like so. Okay. No. Okay, let's see. Um, place this one back. Like a little bit further away from the, the wall here. Should do it like this. And let's see. You're here. And hook you up there. Okay. That one's hooked up. Power. And then these three. One. Uh, 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 uh. Two. Let's try and at least attempt to like line them up and stuff. Where's the power node? Is it there? Hook up one. Hook up two. And hook up three. Yep, that's all done. So somehow, <laughs> somehow that. Uh, Pygmy Lop was able to walk around here. Which does make me wonder, is this... And like, somehow... Can you like, clip through this still? Well, shouldn't anymore, that's for sure. Also... 
let's grab these. I got three out of three. Last time I did it with a uh, sickle and I got four out of three. Yeah, you can't have it all. Anyway, um, uh, buffalo is very diagonal. The <laughs> blueback is very diagonal. Horse is fine. This is the mower. Hmm. Uh, two more half pieces, eh? Concrete. I can't because of the uh, rebar. Which I have made a bunch of. Uh, two of these. This can go in uh, there. Let's mainly feed you two. Five in here, five eggs in the food trough, and three in the coop. Interesting. At least there's none on the ground this time, so there is that. Anyway, more food to go in here. There you go. Welcome about food, I should eat myself as well. But I tend to forget that when I'm busy. So these go there. You can go back there. Water and electricity tool can go back here. And there we go. Done. Uh, okay, let's see. Why did I put the biofuel radar? Must have somewhere. Did I put it in here? Nah, I don't think so, did I? No. Nope. No, I didn't. Then where did I put the biofuel radar? This is still... No, I don't think it's still outside though. I would have expected it here somewhere. Solar panel copper extractors, a wind turbine, but no radar, biofuel radar, no radar, biofuel or otherwise. Um, here's only the uh, mission ones, which I can't use. Yeah, cause they are like can only be placed at certain spots. None of the other benches have it. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, these can go there. I don't think it's in any one of the covers here. Let's quickly check them. Nope, not 
here. Mm. Oxycrest iron. Oh. Let's start cleaning it. I know for a fact I had to buy a fuel radar at some point. Hello. Short on name. Scoria, huh? Where have I seen some more Scoria lately? Uh, I don't know. Here. It means I can like grab the obsidian, put it in here. I can for obsidian. Scoria bricks. Let's see. Scoria bricks should go here then. If we want to get it across from this one. Yeah. So. Scoria brick and then. This is going to be the shaped obsidian. Give me this one. Check. Yeah, all in all, I haven't found the uh, biofuel radar yet. Why is there iron ore there? It shouldn't. Should go in here. And there you go, iron ore. Okay, well, now I'll just have to build myself a new one. Found you. Good. And a biofuel can. Let's quickly put the wolf bait in there. I'm gonna run the biofuel radar right next to base. Where it's going to be protected by my uh, Thames. Just for the fun. What a backpack I'm wearing. Should be wearing the survival backpack. Where is this sternus going? He's going to be attacked by my wolves, I reckon. See? He is. Well, this pygmy lob is lucky they don't attack him. I don't know actually, why aren't they attacking the pygmy lob? Or was it because this Tyrannus was actually attacking my mount? Because I thought when they were set to aggressive that I would attack like everything in sight. Well, they clearly are not. Oh, I couldn't pick up the biofuel radar because my bulk slot wasn't empty. Sorry. There you go. Oh. Come on. There you 
There you go. And activate, there you go. Okay, on this one. Okay, <laughs> cut it up and break it down. This is fun. Drag coming in. Drag being killed. Ah, fun to do it this way. I <laughs> run there right, right, right next to base, where I'm gonna be uh, defended by all my times. Came down, eh? Okay. Well, those guys won't uh, make that mistake anytime soon anymore. Yeah, so the wolves having an, a problem like getting out of the river, huh? you to follow oh set you to follow and then just follow me please I'll have to make uh, ramps leading out of the war see uh, are the rules even following me eh, one is Can even attack in a war with the mines. That is cool. Okay, let's see. Neither of the wolves are following, eh? Actually, the one is here. Good, good, good. Come on. please oh, but the whole um meteor events okay <laughs> I just finished my radar scan oh well. Uh, this does mean the whole. Um, well, maybe there's a difference between mounts and Thames. I hope so, actually. Was there a second splash? Oh well. And where is my other wolf that was in the river? Because it's still set to follow. Can you jump out? Oh there. Huh. Really? Don't kick me back in. Uh, you can't get up there, huh? That's fine, then follow me this way. 
Are you gonna follow on land or in the war? Can't really see. There's a wolf trying to get over the bridge. Is he going over the bridge? So yeah, the wolves are not attacking the uh, herbivores, huh? Okay. Okay, let's get a bit away from here and have the one wolf teleport towards me here. Come on, teleport. Don't wanna, huh? Well, maybe if I get off. You got yourself another skill. Stay. Um. Eh, I'll do another uh, inventory slot, I think. Well, actually. What level are you now? 37, huh? You're still gaining levels? Good, good. So actually, you are going for an uh, increased fall damage reduction. And then why is it? Oh, there you are. Set to wander again. More health, please. Lovely. Um, I am actually going to uh, deploy some stairs over here. So, like, the get out of uh, the river stairs. If I can manage to place it where I want it to. No, that's not gonna work. Actually, let's cut you up and let's break you down. No use to let it go to waste. Oh, my knife broke. About time. I've been... Oh, you actually can go back up top. We're using this knife for a long time without repairing, so... At least it finally broke. You go there, and you can be set to wander again. Lovely. Repair a knife first. That's done. Close the door there. This one because I'm actually gonna need to put a floor down first, I think. Concrete floor, please. And thank you. to greet you like so and then you go down from there into the water lovely uh, I'm actually thinking I could go for uh, dirt foundation here and then like dirt ramp there let's see dirt ramp now let's also make a dirt foundation might be an interesting idea meantime Put the stakes in uh, there. I 
Make more crushed bone. Leather and fur. Oh, we shouldn't have done this one. Sorry. And let's now put down the dirt foundations. So, block to grid means foundation here and then a ramp like a so. I can actually grab this here floor. And there we go. Easy way out of the river again. Yeah, since I did I get a meteor defense, it means all my radar scans, all, i.e. that one radar scan, is now the results are gone. So I'll have to do a new one, but that's fine, I can do that. As soon as the storm is over, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna, oh, you're here now, huh? How did you get here, actually? Yeah, come on, come on. There you go. Close. You wander. Why is the door for closed? So in theory, you shouldn't even have been able to get here. Foot of water, fine. For those as well. Let's have a quick look here. This is now considered sheltered. Lovely. Interesting as well. Ooh, six eggs here now. Maybe you're learning. So it doesn't matter whether or not this one is under the roof because it's hooked up to the water line. Go uh, there. Shall I? Oh. Mr. the equics. Repair this one again. There you go. So get rid of some of the uh, health bars over there. Actually, when the where's Moa? He's gonna get attacked by my wolves, I think. Or not? Uh, maybe he was fast enough to escape the wolf pack. Which I have no idea where it went. Where are you three trying to go? Jambon and bacon and ham. You got more attack then. Betty Fair, Arthur, Four, Neganet, I think. No, I didn't know. Okay. One here and this way, so I can go to here. Apparently 
this one. Cut up this one and break it down. Galahad, level 25 wolf. Huh. So, a pig and a moa, neither of them uh, escaped the wrath of the wolves. This is good. Carcasses, there we go. I need you. So I'll cut you up and I'll break you down. We just got himself a new skill, Rape and Tear, and the rest of fourth one who joins in the attack. There should be another level 9 or level 10 wolf somewhere, I'd say. Anyway, let's first cut up this one and break it down. Now let's grab some food and let's see if we can get these brakes to stop trying to walk through the water trough. Sure, they're not wounded. They are not lovely. Two more drugs to cut up. Here's the second one. This did, by the way, uh, at least pull the pigs away from the water trough. So there is that. Takes a go there. Fatty T bone and uh, bacon to go there. I need these. And eight more there. 200 bone. Make more crushed bone. Two stacks of leather for the cupboards. Okay. Let's quickly take a nap. Oh, Mary, you want to play? That's fine. There you go. How about you, Beethoven? You've got yourself a new skill, hey? More attack then. Yeah, did you get yourself uh, a level? You did not. Okay, check. Let's check up on the chicken. Four eggs in the coop. And four in the food trough. Alas. They stopped putting <laughs> one of them. Uh, no longer putting the eggs in the coop, unfortunately. Oh well. Put 
put an eggs in there. Uh, I'm actually gonna uh, activate this one and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go check on top of the mesa to see whether or not we have new strange plant. Because we have had uh, a meteor event, so there's a 20% chance a strange plant has respawned up on top of the mesa here. Since it doesn't cost me anything to check, why not check? Hmm? Hey, voila! A plant! Look at that! Also, I saw uh, a jag over here, so there's a chance I'm getting a uh, stringy meat, which I would appreciate to get a bit more of. Uh, yes, six. Good. So, strange plant and stringy meat. Definitely worthwhile the trip over here. Always be a bit careful here that you don't accidentally <laughs> run off the ramps. Because you'll end up hurting yourself. And that would be counterproductive. What's happening up there? Okay. Oh, you are actually defending yourself. Wow. Nice that you're defending yourself, but you're actually doing a lot more damage than the piggy is doing, man. Whew. Careful, you horsey. Almost destroyed your own bed here. She's about to topple over. Three seeds, good calls. These don't grow no more. So I have to remove them and then I can replant them. Hey, voila. Oh yeah. I wanted a couple more uh, concrete half pieces, eh? Takes to go there. String me to go there. Bones go there. And then I can actually uh, make another 100 crushed bone. We shall have the room for another stack of leather. Let's have a quick look. Yes, we have. Okay, lovely. So, concrete half pieces. Oh, that's plenty. Palente, yeah. So, uh, let's put them in place. Deploy them as wall pieces lower half. I can't because of the beam over there. I can. However, if I get the. Uh, I mean, I could go for the, like, this piece, half piece, but I ain't gonna fit nicely, so I'm just gonna do a regular triangle one. I'll have to leave with the fact that it ends a little bit higher than the rest of the wall I'm making there. Uh, I could go for like the half pitch, but I better, I'd rather go for the half wall angled. 
because the beam is 45 degrees and the half pitches are not. Or are they? No, they are not. Or are they? Actually, you know what? No, uh, I'm not sure anymore. Let's have a quick look, shall we? So, if I go for this one, right, and I say, give me this piece. Now, see, the angle is all wrong. If I do this one, however, see, this angle is correct. No. See, it's a whole different angle. And if you go for, like, the top part, See, it's like 22.5 degrees angle or something. Nope. Oops. Makes sense. They left the door open. That's no good. You go back in there. Lovely. Kitty has got himself a skill. And let's go for this one first because at three points it gives nearby allies this uh, allies additional health regen sure this one I can go up to 60% health regen but that's fine either that or I actually go for the toughest leather so take less damage so you need less healing eh, might not be a bad one what's your level currently actually 16 3 is 19, 22, we 24, 20, uh, hold on, 16, 3 more here is 19, and 3 is 22, and 2 is 24, then maybe I can go one in here, 25, and don't know whether or not we can get any higher than 25 but we'll see let's let's go for this one first eh? take less damage means less damage to heal see how the levels of the chicken are you got yourself a skill level huh same here actually like take less damage need less healing so yeah let's go for that Couple of piggies to cut up and to break down. And let's consume some food. Ah, a moa here. Sorry, I thought it was a piggy as well. What do we have here? A horsey? Well, let me get rid of it. Fine without wounds. How are you doing? You're doing good. You got a skill. Uh, this way, and then go here. The rip and tear. If you're level 10, they're gonna it's being level 11. And I should have two level 5s. Yellow head, fine. Galen, you got yourself a level. Betty Vare. What's this other low level? Lower level. Eleven. 
Then another level five or six. Not in the war over here, not in the war over there. Oh, here, Arthur. Okay, that's taken care of those. Did I already check for uh, eggs here today? I don't really remember. Looks like I actually did, which is good. Good, good. Wanna go attack something? Yeah, there is a dark on the other side. Oh well, anyway. Let's see, there, 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 so yeah, definitely this one is empty. These two are closed, so I think one over here. Luckily, these is slightly closer than this one. So it ain't gonna be a double one. How are you doing? Very good, Arthur. Good job there. Do more damage. Mm, yeah. Then so another health bar gone. You're gone. Takes to go there, bacon to go here, can't store more bacon, thing is full, so we make steaks out of it, we make biofuel out of the steaks. Fur wise, there's fur, there's leather, still I store more leather, good good, there's bones. Um, actually, always grab the stakes here and put them in here. Have one more tick of biofuel. So yeah, the problem with uh, this operation, shadow investigation. The problem uh, of the uh, hidden base not spawning in. Uh, I've put it in feature upvote and hopefully uh, they will look into it this week still and fix the problem. That would be greatly appreciated. This can go back there. Oh. Grab this as well. Okay, let's see, Tony. We are going for a walk again. So, set you to stay. Feed you this and this. And this. And then we can go. Huh. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do either. Yeah. But somehow <laughs> I'm missing building pieces, as in. Uh, there should be a gate in here. Which somehow got missed. There you go. So, no idea how 
specifically that thing. I mean, the only thing I could think of is it's getting damaged to the point where it completely broke down. That's the only thing I can think of. Actually on the wrong side of the river now, huh? Because I need to go here. Well, I can go around the lake. Uh, so yeah, getting damaged to, to the point where it's like zero uh, durability left and thus uh, completely uh, disappearing. But then, how would it get damaged? What would have damaged it then? Oh, stamina depleted. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to the stamina bar. That's my fault, that's my mistake. So yeah, it had odd that that um, railing disappeared. Actually, what? And fire suit. First cohort of fire suit. So I should actually get myself uh, the Harkis 5. Should have the currency for it. And then get myself the Pheromone module if I have to rent for it. Because it's a very nice module. I'm telling ya. It makes traveling quite a lot faster. And this MOMA with all the talents. And then a Phenomon module added to it. Um, actually, why am I even going there? I should bring the beacon with me. And actually, I could also get myself the new Enfaro suit and a Phenomon module. I'll do the Enfaro. Yeah, I'll do the Enfaro suit uh, off camera because loading in the prospect does tend to take quite a while. So at the end of the stream, I could uh, fly out. And then uh, drop back in the next stream. Probably gonna be Thursday, streaming on Twitch, i.e. Friday upload on YouTube. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea, but I can get the Pheromone module already. Provided I have the currency for it, that is. And it's gonna be the red exotics. What I'm gonna need for it. First you there. Um, let's grab a beacon. And let's see what we're gonna need for a thermal module. Fifty red exotics. How much do we have on this character? Thirty-eight. However, if instead of requesting stuff, I call down a pod. I send up this. There's like forty-six, and then I will have enough for a thermal module. 
and like I said, the uh, Novaro suit I'll uh, do like next stream. First, grab this, actually put on the big backpack, and then we'll grab this, and I will come back and I will. Uh, I grab the rest of the exotics. And let's cut up this one, cause here you know, it would be a shame if it would go to waste. Exotics. To go into the pot as well. Come on, there you go. Deliver this to station, and we're talking about So, now we have 84 red exotics, and about 3,500 purple. This means we can actually get ourselves a pheromone module for 50 uh, red exotics. Okay, that puts us at 790 ren, 3652 purple exotics and 34 red exotics. Um, fire suit is going to be the Hark S5, which actually buys already, 100 ren. So why specifically this one? Because of the two suits module slots and oxygen and water. That's why this one. Why don't I bring it uh, down right now? Because I can't put it on. In order to put it on I have to go back to space. So, one pheromone module please. This one, good. We can go back to station and we can go this away. Now, pheromone module, plus 25% speed and plus 50% max stun. Look at its stamina bar. Like about 7 hot bar slots along now. And it moves faster, way faster. Now, <laughs> on my main character, I just for fun have, am running around with a 4 module slot and I have 4 pheromone modules in my inventory. So even with diminishing returns, I'm getting like 50% for the first one, 20% for the second one, 12.5% for the third one and 6.25% for the fourth one. 
So 75, 87.5, 93.75, so you say about 94% extra movement speed. In other words, it's traveling almost twice as fast as it would normally do. Now tell me again that ain't funny. Also, well, sorry, the stam. Uh, movement speed is about 50% uh, plus with uh, two and with four modules and diminishing returns. But yeah, about double the stamina bar. Base stamina bar. So that's gonna be adding more. Uh, like pff, about two thirds or so of this stamina bar added to it. If that is so, <laughs> my stamina bar would actually run into the health bar. Huh. I'm gonna have to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm so gonna uh, level up a, a MOA in my main uh, open world, so I can test this out. Like, can I get the stamina bar into the health bar? Okay, no plants here, that's fine though. There's brambles there, so let's go around this side. Needler, where? Someone way behind me. So yeah, um, main open world and level up a MOA for stamina. Anyway, map. We're there, so slightly to the left to go around the. Yeah, to go there. Then take a right around the mountain there. It's actually a regent on Stam. And there we go again. And you know. Just, just to be sure, I'm gonna uh, check out the uh, hidden base location. And by doing so, like testing out my new Fromo module, because why not, you know. Nope. As you can see, nothing. Because I know this mission, and it's supposed to be a building in the tree, and like uh, stairs going around up to the treehouse. But there is no treehouse. I do wonder, could it have something to do with the changes in cunning they implemented? Well, it might be, you know. Let's think about that for a minute, yeah? If it is like, uh, I can't call the stuff underneath where the base is supposed to go, so I'm not gonna uh, put the base in place. Well, it makes sense that you can't take out the entire tree where the base is supposed to go. Makes sense. So yeah, I don't know, but that would mean <sighs> that for this particular mission they should change the, hey, hold on, hold on, what is that line? They should change the color mechanism, okay, okay, 
I just didn't see all the branches. Okay, right. Yeah, like I said, nothing. There's no hidden base, there are nothing to be seen. Which is a shame. But yeah, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do is not something I can fix. Something I have to wait for the devs to fix. Oh, hello. Apparently, food bus ran out. Which one actually? All. Check. Nope. And you can go back there. If what? Voilà. There we go again. Yeah, it would be nice if I could make this stamina bar like at least 50% longer. But yeah, um, let's think about it. So, uh, it depends actually, you know, the animal food is increasing stamina, but is it total or is it base? Same for the pheromone module. If it's all increasing base, then uh, it's not gonna increase that much anymore. And this is actually something I can calculate. At least for the food. Mm, by checking the stats before and after feeding it. Which I can't do at the moment because guess what? I already fed them. But still, I reckon it will have in. I'm sure it will have an even bigger stamina bar uh, if using four pheromone modules. Oh, lovely storm! <laughs> um, sorry, I thought it was a storm in the. Swamp turns out it's a storm in the grasslands. Luckily, it's just the tail end of the storm. So let's go check out the um, platinum deep vein. Probably without running off a cliff, hey? Eh? Because that's uh, bad for the health. Oh, I should have gone to the other side of the river actually. It's nice to find a river crossing as such, i.e., here. Huh. That's a shallow one. Yeah, no, storm exposure, but sh exposure should almost uh, go down again. So as soon as the light red part is over, exposure will start going down. Also, because I uh, stepped up the mount before I was on the mount when the storm started, or at least when I started uh, getting exposure. Exposure damage isn't that bad. It's gonna get worse as soon as I get off the mount though. But then again, exposure is already going down, so no problem there. Yay! Give me all the platinum ore, i.e. only 170. On the other hand, it's 170 more than I had before. It's gonna be like, what, 34 or so ingots? Yeah. There's 34 ingots more than I had before I left base. So. 
Right so Uh, you see the next red weather right behind? Uh, yeah, I know. It's a red storm, uh, red uh, weather front coming in, Hammer Kills. And welcome, by the way. Uh, now, the forecast isn't always reliable. I have had it a forecast being green and still getting like an orange storm. But uh, yeah, there is a chance of a red storm actually gonna come in. At which point I'd rather be in my base or in another biome. So, how you doing today? Hope everything is uh, going well. Run up here. Huh. Wolfpack is killing the drug. Good, good. Um, let's actually use the sickle this time. Four. See, last time I picked them by hand and I only got three. Now at least I got four. Put away the ores. Let's also put away the animal food. We can use the next strip. Boom, boom, boom. Get my uh, mass emptor module back in. Time to put away some of the boots. Close door, please. Thank you. Always good having to close the door behind you. Think about playing. I want. I want to create a new character and map. Oh, not bad. Just of work. Yeah, then it's, yeah. I'm a bit ahead of you. It's uh, 23:22 p.m. right here at the moment. So I've been off work for a bit already. Uh, playing new, uh, create new character and map. I actually did it on this one as well. Uh, once you have. Uh, some experience in the game, even uh, a level zero character is rather quick to level up. 220, eh? 1413, so nine hours behind, or I'm nine hours ahead of you. Yeah, like, it only took me a couple of hours to uh, reach level 60 uh, here, as you can see. Uh, important, like, uh, get a mortar and pestle, make crushed bone, make epoxy out of it, uh, get yourself a uh, textiles bench, basic one works as well, make leather out of rope, uh, carpentry bench, Make sticks out of wood. Uh, those sticks in a mortar and pestle you can turn into tree sap. This all gives you uh, a passive stream of uh, experience income. Yeah, you have two level 60s, but getting, getting it gets boring once you have built everything out. I know, right? Well, boring to an extent, as in. Uh, my main open world, I play with a level 60 as well. Uh, but I'm still working now on, I actually have my base at the same location here. Really? Drax is attacking the pig? Why, he wants to die? I think so. Well done, Bacon. <laughs> Look at my teams coming in, rushing in to <laughs> defend me. And then they're lucky, those ones 
in the pen my mines didn't come down either as well uh, we have my main base on the same location as here actually and I've built it out big time I uh, started building bases in other biomes as well just for fun you know uh, that one actually I don't have as many teams as I have here especially not in the wolf and pig variant uh, but I have uh, like a uh, fortification wall around it S uh, some parts uh, augmented with uh, with the uh, brambles. Actually, let's set you all to follow. Uh, shouldn't have accidentally drunk. You set to follow because these guys don't want to get out of the river that well. I mean, Arthur and Dagonet follow. Uh, you go more blade application. So let's get away from the river a little bit. So the wolves will spawn at my location. But yeah. Um, so. Yeah, like, you, you, there, there's always more stuff to do. Uh, my main open world I use for, like, uh, testing out a lot of things. You know, like, I have everything, I have a lot of resources everywhere, and, like, uh, doing all the, all the deep drills, or as many deep drills as possible, stuff like that. So, yeah, there's always something to do. Okay, one... Two and hey Alex, welcome to the channel. How's my day been so far? Not bad, not bad. Work was a tad tedious, but hey, that's that's work for you. Other than that, me. Well, then that is all fine. You set to Bondor. I think these two are still set of. Oh, wait, there's the third one. You back to Wonder. And you back to Wonder. Uh, you have a nice set of fulfilling purified war and air action back up to the station. Yes, that's the advantage. Uh, like, I remember the days where you couldn't do it. Uh, but yeah. Pull down a bunch of uh, oxygen tanks and canteens and fill them up, send them back up. It's nice if you want to do a speedrun, that's for sure. So you basically you hit the ground running uh, oxygen and uh, and water wise. So, how's your day going so far, Alex? Done working for the day? Put that one up there. This one is full, nice and fast. This one is full as well, good, good. But on the other hand, Hammer, uh, like if you have uh, a couple of them, uh, canteens and uh, oxygen tanks, at some point you don't need more, you know. No, no use to have like uh, 10, 15 of them in the space station. It is mm, pretty handy having uh, like two or three through. Yeah, well, I usually do. Uh, or did I have to say back in the day when I was still doing missions before I switched to uh, operations uh, at the end of the mission just fill up your canteen and oxygen tank before I uh, going up to the bay uh, to the space station okay 
Okay, no new levels there. Let's have a quick look at the chickens. Hmm. I think there's uh, something wrong with that roof. Levels, no new levels, okay. Let's go. Wow. It's actually my buffalo who... Come on, really? Now I can't even get off. Can I get through? Play two. Hey, well, I can, like, kind of jump over here. Can I get off? Jump, you know. The first way you took the canteen O2 was full after each mission. If new dirty water is a nice component. I know, right? It makes things eh, a bit more interesting, so to say. Okay. Um, the only way to... Oh, I'm here. Okay. The only way to get, uh, to get out of that location is to do this. Ah, it's okay. Managed to fix it. No worries. So, how the heck did you lose f like 50% of your health? And also, why aren't you... There you go. Um, yeah, the... Uh, Uh, like water levels, uh, contamination levels of water is definitely a nice addition. I totally agree. So you go for some more fall damage reduction, you know. And <laughs> let's repair the hole in the roof. No idea how the buffalo managed to, like, Hit this roof piece so hard, it almost went through it. It cost him half his health. Almost as if it like ran up here, which he should not be able to do because of this one. So, huh. That weird. Anyway, he's uh, safe in the pen again. They're still growing. Yeah, like back in the days for the O2 and for the canteen, uh, like you took it, the, you took them back up to space, and they were like empty. So it was a, it was a really nice uh, change where they uh, said, you know what, they're gonna keep their contents. Yeah, especially for speedrunning, made it a lot easier. Nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing on the ground. Okay, no eggs from the chicken yet. I mean, you could say it is making it too easy, but I just see it as like hit the ground running. Yeah, nice. Uh, nice change. Is it chalice stuck on? Oh, it's picking me up actually. Okay. Good night. And uh, let's just take it apart. Let's cut you up. Let's break you down. Make sure none of the teams are wounded. Ah. You got yourself a skill. Arthur, good, good. You want to go towards the bleed. Okay, how are you doing? Full on uh, damage there. 
But if you are... Why the bleed thingy? And where is my fourth lower-ish? Here's Dagonet. And Petier. Galahad is fine. If anything is making it too easy, it would be the ability to cool down unlimited supply. Oh, I totally agree. Like back in the days when you still had to think about what you were taking down, it did make it more challenging, definitely. And like, am I gonna bring down uh, a bow, space bow, but it does mean I can't bring down uh, an extra carry module, for example? Yes. I mean, on the other hand, it does make it slightly easier and now, uh, for example, I could now st I start with a level 0 character with, like, uh, no space gear. But at least I'm able to, like, once I get, uh, once I get the uh, currency, I can now at least uh, get extra space gear down. And, like, I started with no space gear at all. But uh, right now I have like uh, the Neves pickaxe, canteen, and oxygen tank, the the modules, a uh, couple of different backpacks. Cause I play this character in such a way that I like I only uh, use currency I have actually earned with this character. Like I have some something like 200k ren uh, in the workshop, yes. But with this character, I only have done a couple of missions, so I don't have that much ren with this character. So I'm not gonna use those 200k. I'm only using the stuff, uh, only using the currency I actually earned with this character to make it a little bit more challenging for myself. Eh? And I can. Uh, Start a level with like all the space gear if I want to, but then you get like a level zero character with all the space gear. I'm like, nah, it's gonna be too easy, you know. Needs to be at least a bit of a challenge. So, yeah, it is uh, from that point of view, it is nice that we can now. Uh, then we can now call down extra uh, equipment from the space station. Start zero and once they send a few exotics, allow them to buy uh, to buy with that coin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I'm, I'm keeping track of uh, of the currencies I've earned with this character. Uh, and I only use those currencies instead of, uh, well, uh, that was the wrong one. I wanted this one. So instead of all this, right? I've got a most of this with uh, with other characters. So. Sure, I could go like start uh, 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 start a prospect with like S5 uh, workshop and uh, it's also a nice one to start out with is the Naneo armor uh, bows, the where it is here, Lacro Martinez compound bow which is very overpowered in my opinion, stuff like that. Yeah, no, not gonna do. Like, where's the fun in that, you know? There's no challenge no more. Don't need this one. Uh, yeah, at, at least this way, uh, like, you start with level zero, like, only an, an fire suit, no weapons, no nothing. So you have to be a tad careful of not getting killed instantly. At least something of a challenge. Mm. 
let's see, should I start building up here? I mean, I could. No idea what I'm going to use that room for yet, but... Um, I can make... Uh, if I unlock... Let's see, clay brick. Clay brick is looking very, very nice. So. Uh, I'm going to go make some clay brick walls and stuff. And I'm going to use it to make a new uh, room. And obviously I need clay for that. I need clay bricks. So I need to go out to the uh, swamp and start gathering clay. Of course I don't have it. Uh, let's put the iron ore all here. Oh, you're full. Okay, well, then start smelting it. The let's make uh, free up some inventory slots. Can make more crushed bone here. Turn the bacon into steaks. Put the steaks into the biofuel composter. And put the exotics here. And the iron ore can go here. Oh, I don't even have enough. Um, actually. I can make a bunch more uh, steel bloom. 200. And 600. Uh, this goes up there. I grab me 100 coal. And just let's just make steel bloom. You can always use steel. And it's free up inventory slots. Uh, let's see. Copper. And gold and oxide. And there's. Oh, platinum. There's still some stuff to be cleaned. It's a shame to just let it sit in a cupboard doing nothing. Gold and oxide and salt and sulfur. Okay. Right. Uh, clay, huh? I might have some clay deep veins close by, though. And let's check a couple of. Uh, case to see if we get any more purple exotics alrighty Cave number one, this is a slightly bigger cave, so go in with a bow out and not a knife. The next one is popping up on the right, I believe. There. See, and then two on the left. I think there's gonna be one on the right again. Give me the flint arrow back. Don't need the other stuff because I haven't done my grating since. 
Uh, Prometheus, uh, Prometheus, Olympus level uh, mission with this character. Copper and what is here? Iron, huh? No purple node here, because if there is one, it always spawns like here. Yeah, more iron. All right. Let's bring it to base and then we go to the uh, other side of the maze and check out the cave over there. Check out the cave on top there. The drug being killed by my wolves. Well, his own fault. He shouldn't have gotten here. Oh, there's a pig actually. I thought I heard a drug. Anyway, let's cut up the pig. And there you're gone. Eh, I really thought I heard a drug. Oh well. How much iron did I get actually? 250, so let's grab 300, 4, 5, make it an even 6. And we'll make more steel bloom. This can go uh, there. Turn the bacon into uh, steaks. Grab the steaks. Three, four, and check it in here. Now I don't think I don't leave the uh, other cave. I've put a drill down there. Plus, if that one runs out of uh, fuel, well, I have an, uh, don't really care because I have so much iron at the moment. Check the other cave. This is a small cave, so I'll uh, go in with a knife. There's a second one, worm, there is not, there is no uh, purple node, because that one spawns up here. I could go for the beehive, but I have enough bee stuff anyway. Which reminds me, I should check the beehive uh, near my crop plots to see whether or not they still have worker bees in there. I should actually upgrade it to to tier 4 the breeding center so I can check a uh, queen bee in there I'll do it at some point if I don't forget <coughs> which I might knowing me This is also a small cave, so knife in hand, oh sorry this is a big cave, okay, bigger. I hear a bees, and let's bring this one, why not. 
Which one's gonna pop first? This one? Okay. How about you? There you are. And now you're gone. Take my arrow back, thank you very much. I believe this one should have the uh, no. The, if it has like here, this one does have, however, a clay deposit by the looks of it. Yep. So I could go here for my clay. Oh, there is one here, copper. All right. Well, that means I have to. Uh, I have myself a full biofuel can. I could put it back in there. And like make another drill for the clay. But to be honest, it is coming up on midnight. And I do have to work in the morning, so. Not fully grown yet. Copper or goes there. Boom. Vestige goes there. And I will uh, replace the biofuel can, otherwise, I will forget it. And that wouldn't be good. gonna go put the biofuel can in no one to spawn this is good and you go there lovely Righty ho! Now running back to base. So I wonder how effective a wolf pack is gonna be if I uh, decide to go check out uh, swamp area, for example. Needler, who's gonna win, Needler or a wolf? And uh, what's going to happen if I don't uh, attend to the wounds the needlers most likely going to give the wolves? All questions I don't know the answer to yet. I do know however that <laughs> needlers are tough. Uh, Beethoven you got a level. Good. More damage. Anyway, um... Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna call it. It is coming up on midnight, so uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me play. Where's the prepared food? There it is. Uh, if you did, uh, like would be appreciated. Uh, so if you want to get notified next time I uh, stream on Twitch, there is the. Uh, follow button or if you watch this on YouTube you want to get notified next time I upload the subscribe button don't forget to also press the notification button uh, on YouTube though because YouTube being YouTube doesn't always notify you uh, when there's new content uploaded so keep that in mind other than that uh, thanks for being here uh, I will uh, pull out by spaceship and next time come back with a new Enfaro suit, but like I said, I'm not going to show that on stream uh, because of the time needed to actually load the prospect. So I will see you next time and then I will sh should be wearing, if I don't forget, which again I might, but I should be wearing the Harkus 5 Enfaro suit. So yeah. Um, 
thanks for being here and uh, I will see you folks around. Right?